This is a sample application that will show how to get localized results from the Watson Visual Recognition Service um, using image pre-processing techniques. So let me go ahead and show you it in action and then um, we can talk about how it, it all works. So I've got a custom classifier for the Watson Visual Recognition Service. It's already uh, been trained to recognize rust on things like bridges or pipes. Um, I've just now gone to Wikimedia and found a, an image that is available um, with, for use with attribution. So here's the attribution right here. Um, what I want to do is I want to analyze this image. Let me go ahead and close this area to determine the areas of rust automatically using the Watson Visual Recognition Service. So I can just drag, it's uh, like that, drag and drop right onto the window where I've got the um, image processor running. And what that does is it uploads it into the Node.js application, then it runs a pre-processing technique on the image. So it takes that big image, which is a 12 megapixel image, and breaks it into 200 by 200 pixel tiles. And in near real time, uh, it takes all those individual tiles and then sends them to the Watson Visual Recognition Service, analyzes each one individually. And once that's complete, we'll, we'll be able to show the result. Now our analysis is complete, so let me scroll down and you can see the areas in red um, are the areas where the Visual Recognition Service has determined there is the presence of rust. And if we look at the image, you can see that there is um, a very rusty platform and rusty supports. And we turn it back on and you can see it does differentiate between the areas that are the rusty platform versus the metallic uh, rail. And there are some areas of rail where it does recognize that there is rust, but in general, um, it doesn't uh, get a lot of false negatives, or sorry, false positives. How this works is the image is uploaded to the local Node.js server. It uses graphics magic libraries to break it apart into smaller images. Each individual image uh, or tile is sent to the Watson Visual Recognition Service. Then as the analysis takes place in real time, the results are being sent to the browser using a Socket.io uh, WebSocket so that it basically streams the results back to the browser and then we can visualize it as soon as that processing is complete.